Good morning, your Celebration Radio Network. Good morning, it's Karen Howard with the Organic and Natural Health Association. Hey, Karen. All right, Karen. Um, you have Facebook page, you have website, you have all kinds of information out and about for people to find out what is going on with CMBD oil or C. I can never say that right. CBD. CBD. Yeah, there we go. CBD oil. And uh, other stuff, other supplements um, that are out there that uh, are not really um, healthy, actually. Uh, The last conversation we had, you kind of blew me away uh, with some of the statistics and things that are in that stuff. And so continue on with, um, we were talking about uh, the, I guess, the guidelines and what we need to look for and uh, stay away from kind of things for some of that stuff. So. Well, we can start to give you a little update with what is or is not going on with CBD. And that is to say that Congress has stepped in a little bit. They've tried to tell FDA what to do. Uh, that could take a very long time. In the meantime, class action suits have been filed saying that you're ripping off consumers by selling bad products. And... Uh, Industry is moving kind of quickly into new verbiage around how to buy this. So just for your listeners, CBD, and I think I mentioned this before, is going to go away in terms of marketing. CBD itself should really be an isolate, which was is creating all this controversy around being a drug versus a dietary supplement. So what you're going to see now is hemp oil. Uh-huh. You wear hemp oil that is only hemp seed oil. It's hard to know. Right. Then you're going to see broad spectrum versus full spectrum. And broad spectrum is TB is hemp that's had the THC, the active ingredient, completely removed. And full spectrum says it's less than three percent THC. Okay. That's the update. All right. Well, I appreciate the update. Now, you said that Congress was starting to get involved with this. Um, what exactly are they trying to do? Are they are they like um, taking this stuff off the market, or are they making it um, better to understand? Or, I mean, what what exactly is the process that they're going to use? So, there's a couple of different things that have been happening, but the latest one is a piece of legislation that's been introduced bipartisan in the House that would say. Yes, we understand, FDA, you have all these regulations that you adhere to about what constitutes a drug versus a dietary supplement, but we'd like for you to exempt hemp from that process. Everyone's really excited about this piece of legislation, but some of the lawyers that we work with have said it still doesn't change the fact that it's not legal. Um, So that will work its way through the process. The idea of anything happening very quickly on the Hill right now is, low. Okay. This, however, is a process that's being pushed by the hemp industry, not so much by my industry and the dietary supplement side. So it's interesting for us to watch. All right. Well, I really appreciate that info. Now, um, when do you expect this actually to go through? Or, or I mean, is there a, a date that the vote is set for? Um, what, what can we look at here? There is no date. There is several committees of jurisdiction. Okay. At, at the same time this was being introduced, which is an agriculture issue, is the way that this is being framed and pushed through Congress. Another committee was having a hearing about marijuana in general and also the CBD, pushing the FDA at this hearing to tell them what they were going to do, when they were going to do it, and what else they need to take action on this. Okay. A lot of concern about safety, dosage, a very different conversation than what you hear from the farmer community and hemp. Okay. Well, I know that there's a huge push for legalization and uh, um, countrywide instead of just letting the states deal with it. They're wanting to push uh, legislation through that uh, would just make it just legal. So, you know, they'd get rid of a lot of the restrictions and and uh, um, what is that going to do with the uh, CBD oils then? I mean, you said that the, the hemp oils and stuff are just going to basically go away. Well, the terminology on a bottle that says CBD oil, uh-huh. the good, none of the good players are using that language now anyway. Okay. Uh, that's just something that lawyers have said, 
you need to change that. That remember, because marijuana is legal, um, all of these credit card processors have gotten caught up in this too. So a lot oh. of these retailers can't even sell this stuff because the processors have decided that hemp and marijuana are the same thing, which is completely inaccurate. Right, it is. Okay. So mo- more confusion. Uh, although another committee with jurisdiction over banking has said, stop this nonsense. Um, you need to be able to let hemp producers, and language went through in the appropriations process to allow hemp to transfer across state lines. Mm, okay. And now they've said to the processors, you, you, no, that's not the way this works. You can go ahead and process. Wow. All right. Yeah. Well, thank you for the information. It's uh, very, very needed in uh, the day and age that we live in today. I love hearing from people that are informative and uh, what's going on um, with certain things. So uh, especially the health uh, industry, there are so many things out there that are not um, uh, good players, as you had quoted that earlier. (laughs) There's so many out there that take advantage of people, and I like to hear about that so I can let my listeners know. So Great. Happy to do whatever I can. Oh, thanks, Karen. I really appreciate it. And God bless you and all that you do. Thank you. Have a great weekend. You too. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.